Hi everyone, in this video we will create first React plus Node.js plus MySQL. First application we will create, okay, for the front end React.js, for the back end Node.js and for the database we will use MySQL. So let's get started. I have created a folder, okay, by the name of first app. Now I will open it in my Visual Studio Code editor. The folder has opened, okay? For to run this application, the first thing that we need is the node.js, okay? We should install node.js, okay? I have already installed, let's check it, okay? Let's come to the CMD, to the command form, and here we will write node version. See, the node has installed and also npm version. That will show us the version of npm, node package manager. See, so whenever you install Node.js, so npm will be installed automatically. Okay, so after installing this Node.js, so now we will move to write our code. So first, I will create two folders in this app. Okay, the first one is the backend. The second software would be folder would be frontend. Uh, okay, frontend we will create that later. So first the backend. For backend, um, the first thing is that we should initialize npm with it. Okay, so we will write a command like this. So I will go to directory backend. So here I will write npm in it. Okay, initialize hyphen y. So it will create a package digester file inside backend folder. Yes. The package that JSON file has created now. So now we need to um, initialize. It means we need to install a few packages. Okay, library. The first npm install. We will write the first thing is that. Yeah. First thing is that we should install MySQL. Okay. We would like to interact, connect with the MySQL. And then the second thing is the Express. Express is the framework of Node.js. Okay for writing code, backend code. The third thing is the course. The course is for to, um, uh, the, our backend Node.js will not allow us to get the API of Node.js. So the course allow us to access those APIs. The fourth thing is Node man, okay? So this is for automatically refreshing our uh, Node uh, server, okay? Our server, automatically it is refreshing that. So now let's install these four things. So it will install in this folder, okay? We will wait for that. Yeah, those packages has installed inside backend folder, okay? See it. So now the fourth thing is that we would like to create a file here. For example, we will name it server.js. Inside this file, we will write our uh, backend code, okay? Our Node.js code. So now let's move to create a front end for our uh, application. For the front end, I will um, come back to the first app to directory. So here I will run npx create sorry, react app and we will name it front end. Let's run it. So it will create uh, a front end. Uh, react app for us so my front end app has created okay so now let's write to the code for our uh, backend okay first we will write the code of the backend so to write that first we will uh, import the express framework so for that I will write const express is equal to require express after that I will import course is equal to require and also the mysql so one thing I missed that was the mysql I have already installed the mysql I am using zump server okay in that we have the mysql so I will run Zump server. So I will start my SQL. Okay. So we have already installed my SQL. So now let's call the Express. 
cast app is equal to x y so now we will learn our server okay we will learn our server like uh, this okay app dot listen so it will listen to this port okay 80 81 it is our port that our uh, this server dot js file will be running and then it okay and later uh, let's write a message for that console dot log listening okay so let's check the server is it running or not so for that let's come to the backend and we installed nodeman okay at the start so to use that nodeman we will just come here to the package.json here under the script we will write start nodeman server.js okay our file name is server.js so now just let's write npm start yeah listening okay the message has printed listening so our server is running so now let's write first we will get some values from mysql database okay so let's uh, check the mysql database we have a database there and i will show you the database oh so we should run the apache let's refresh it come to the php my admin to the mysql database you may have the in mysql just you have installed the mysql workbench so you can use that but i have installed some server so here we have a database by the name of crud and in this we have uh, the tables so let's check the tables for example we have a student table okay let's click on the student in student table we have um, name and email so let's check that we will um, take this video we will get these videos so we will create uh, now our uh, mysql connection so for that let's use mysql i will create an object const db is equal to mysql dot create connection so it will create our uh, connection now okay with the mysql so here we will write our first of all we should write the host the host is the local host with us uh, we can write server okay local host and then the user the user is the root with us and then the password we don't we didn't set the password and then the database the database is the crud database okay that we saw now okay after creating the connection so now let's uh, run our query okay so to run the query so we will um, create like we will use app dot get we will use get method okay to get the data for that the url would be student i will assign it student url so here i will we will get request and response So now I will write the code. Okay, now I will write my query. For that, I will write SQL is equal to select steric from student. It will get the data. So now, if, uh, now we will uh, run our query. DB dot query. We first we will pass our query SQL, and then we will get an error or the result, the response. Uh, the data so if there was an error so we will return the result.json we will just write error if there was no error so then we will return the data okay result.json we will return the data yes so now let's run our uh, server backend so to run that our uh, local host that is running an 8081 port okay 8081 port 
so let's uh, write student student yeah we got this videos okay id 5 name salman email salman at gmail.com see it we have this video okay see it's here we have that we and we got that here so it was all about the uh, getting details from the database okay let's uh, make our front end now we got our um, data from the mysql so now we will display that on the um, front end okay so for that let's come to the app.js here i will uh, access my data in this app.js i will write so to access the data first i will use use effect hook to get the data in this uh, dependency right here so here i will use the um, fetch api okay to pitch the data to get the data so the url is so now let's get the url we will get the data from this url let's write it here then we will get a response a result and we will um, change that to the json format uh, and then we will just get the data and we will set our data uh, in our variable in a state so let's create that const data set data is equal to goes state so before setting our data we will console that we will print that on the console console.log data uh, if there was any error console the error yes so now we will run our application our front end so to run our front end let's write cd front end and npm start it will start our react app So let's go to the console we would like to print the data on the console yeah we will wait yeah it's loading right now yes so let's see yes we got this error okay a type error failed to pitch the data so let's check what is the error so yes yeah, so let's use the course okay we didn't use course so let's come to the server.js we imported it okay but let's use it to use it up that use course yeah it's okay now so let's check it right now let's refresh our application see we got the data it is the data that we have okay id name and blah blah so now let's print that data so to print the data um, we will write here instead of console we will write zip data it will lead, uh, pass the data to this variable so now i will print the data um, so let's just use data dot name will it print the name for us or not we can use map function for that okay yeah we can use the map function for that print d dot name i will print just the names so we 
what is the error now let's see it so let's change it to the array type it is in array type with us because it is returning an array with us yeah see it it has printed as the name just we have this one record okay in our database okay salmon we have this one record we can print the email and other data sent to this let's write here email and wrap it up see the email has printed also so it was the first application in uh, react.js with node.js and mysql i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video so please subscribe our youtube channel and also like this video and thanks for watching